In this video, we'll learn how to connect a YY bank using three single-phase transformers to provide three-phase power, and why using them has some advantages and disadvantages. Let's start with the primary connections. Connect the H2 bushings of each transformer and tie them to neutral. Next, connect the H1 bushings of each transformer to a phase, starting with the A phase, then the B phase, and ending with the C phase. Notice how each transformer in a YY bank is connected to a phase and then grounded to a neutral. We call this grounding the Y point. The industry uses a saying to remember whether to ground the neutral or float it on the primary side. YY, you tie. Y delta, you float. Grounding the Y point creates a ground source for the primary system, which allows the use of single or dual primary bushing transformers. It's generally safer for the next line worker to work on. The decision to either ground or float the Y primary is up to the power company. Let's move on to the secondary side. The secondary coils are connected parallel. The industry standard for Y secondary connections is paralleling the X1 and X2 while leaving the X3 idle. To configure the Y secondaries, first, bond all transformer cases together and tie them to ground. Connect the X2 bushings together and make the X2 bushing of the center transformer the neutral. Next, attach hot legs to the X1 bushings of each transformer. You'll use all three transformers to deliver three-phase power. YY banks also use all three transformers to share the single-phase load equally, which is great for efficiency. However, because they require all three transformers to deliver a single-phase and three-phase power, the customer would lose power if one transformer were to fail. So, what did we learn? Grounding the Y point creates a ground source for the primary system, which allows the use of single or dual primary bushing transformers. YY banks use all three transformers to share the single phase load equally, which is great for efficiency. The customer will lose power on a YY bank if one transformer fails. Remember to always check your voltage and rotation according to company procedures. Thanks for watching this Northwest Lyman College tutorial. Work safe out there.